The married couple marched on Holy Way and opened their first shop in 1948 in Trondheim, Norway. The son at Wayton saw the possibilities in having economic of scale by building a chain of grocery stores. In 1972, Ad opens as Schachpris in Trondheim, and in the next couple of years, he opens five more grocery stores and has now a chain. During a visit in Germany in 1977, Ad Wayton became acquainted with the elder chain and the philosophy behind the chain. Ad was impressed by the effective discount model, and at that time, Rabbi Martin and Epoch Maiden were running a grocery store. Ad Wayton translated the German discount fairy tale to Norwegian, and in the year of 1979, he founded Rema, which is a contraction of Wayton and Mott. The vision of Rema Tusen is to be known as the most valuable company in Scandinavia, where the customers always are the highest CEO. Ownership and business structure. All of the shops that Rema Tusen have is franchising, which means that the owner of each store drives the stores independent and is thereby more personally involved and committed. Product ranges. The chain had in the first years a product range on 500 to 600 different products. To keep the competitors away and live up to the customers' needs, they chose to expand their range. In 1980, the, the range grew to 1,000 goods, and this is the reason that the chain is named Rema 1000. Rema 1000 wants to offer a wildly assortment. They want to sell everything you need on a daily basis. This will have the family logistic with quick buyings in a busy day. They focus on the quality while they want the cheapest prices. They categorize their quality on three factors, taste, contents and freshness. Store formats. The stores is not huge, but neither the size is a corn shop. They are pretty normal, like Neto, Fakta and Eldi. They normally have three counters, but of course some of them has more or less. Marketing. Amatusen is using offline promotion because they hand out advertising, they also have a newspaper you can get on your mail. They do also use online promotion because they have TV commercials, they have an app and they also use social media as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Target groups. The target group is family with children who does not have a lot of money. We can see this in the way they do the marketing. The commercials applicate to this group because they often use children in them. Strategies. Their competition strategy is cost leadership strategy because they have low costs and a large target group. Their growth strategy is market penetration. They are focusing on the existing market and products. In Denmark, Rematosen have 9.3% of the market. The main competitors of Rematosen is Netto, Fakta and Aldi.